Hey, this is Adam from In Search of Sun and you're listening to Zanzana. So, In Search of the Sun, uh, thank you for this interview. Hi, Adam. Hi, how you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? Yes, I'm very good. So, Adam, uh, two days ago, you knew we are now uh, for the interview on June 17th. Uh, two days ago on YouTube, uh, there, were the, there were a new video clip uh, in the garden. Mm. It's going on, huh? Yeah, man. Stoked to uh, finally have released it. Uh, yeah. It's probably one of my favorite songs off the record, actually. Yeah, yeah I love it. Uh, yeah, man. So yeah, we dropped it a couple of days ago um, and we're already working on the next video. In fact, we're shooting some of it here at Download Festival France tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I really like this song. Huh? You know why? Because um, easy listening, mm. melody, strong, strong, uh, strong, strong song with really lots of breaks, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's deep, it runs deep. Uh, I mean, every, every song does on the album. It's, uh, there's a meaning behind every song, a really deep meaning. Uh, but that one in particular, I guess, is, is aimed at people that, that have, and I guess we all do, or most of us do, you have someone in your life, when you're trying to do something creative and something cool with your life, there are always people that are trying to bring you back down and not let you do what you want to do. And that's what that song's about. It's about saying, can I swear? Yeah. Can I? It's about saying fuck you to those people and, and doing what you want to do that makes you happy, man. And, and, and just not letting anything get in your way. That's what it's about, perseverance. And um, you know, there's the other song, uh, Bad Girl. Yeah. I really like it because it's jazz groove, you know, it's uh, bass, battery, the technique is very strong, but not too much. There's an, there's an atmosphere. Yeah, man. It's. Uh, I remember when we when we. Uh, who wrote the riff to that? The uh, I think it was Rory, so the guitar player in our band, the guy with the big dreadlocks. He uh, he wrote that riff, um, and he sent it over. He recorded it really roughly and sent it over, and I heard it. I was like, "Fuck, this is incredible. This is so cool." And for some reason, it reminded me of my favorite film in the whole world which is The Exorcist. I love horror films. I absolutely love horror films. So that's what that song's about. It's about The Exorcist. But yeah, man, it's, uh, it's, it's heavy, it's funky, it's melodic, like just all in one. It's really cool. It's, it's one of my favorites as well, actually. I love it. It's really good. Yeah, but in, your music is very technique, you know? Uh, but not too much. It's not the, uh, the other prog band, you know? Hey, look how, look how, uh, how good I am in the instruments. Yeah, man, I feel like we sort of sit somewhere in the middle, you know, like we don't really want to be too proggy, but we don't want to be boring at the same time. So we kind of just, I don't know, like whatever we write, it just comes out naturally and it, and it feels good. It just feels good. So uh, I like it, man. Yeah, so uh, it's fun. It's fun to be writing music that you, you just write for yourself and, yet, you know, you love it. And uh, yeah, we're all very happy with the stuff that we're writing right now. It needs maturity to make song, to make songs that uh, have very big technique, but not too much. Well, none of us are mature. We're all idiots. So, <laughs> yeah. well, yeah, I guess, man, I, I think that comes with, I think it comes with experience. Um, you know, just, yeah, I mean, just because we have an album before this one, before Virgin Funk Mother, we wrote the first album, which was The World Is Yours. Um, and as much as we all love that album because it's you know it's our first album it's, it's where we came from um we feel that that put us on sort of a or gave us a level of knowledge and experience to be able to write virgin funk mother which is where i f i personally feel we fit perfectly like that is our sound um and we're all extremely proud of it you know um, but i guess yeah it just takes experience and 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 gaining knowledge over time to get to that to that point where you feel that you sit comfort comfortably in, in that musical spectrum of whatever you're in, you know? And the other thing is that you, um, you, you, you write songs with 3.30, 4 minutes, and not the uh, usual 12 minute track, you know? Yeah, we, we, we're not really, <laughs> we don't really like the really, really long songs, man. I mean, there, there's, I don't know, like it's strange because we don't, we don't deliberately write songs that are three minutes 30 or four minutes or whatever. It just comes like that. We don't want to write something that's five or six minutes just for the sake of saying, yes, we've, we've got a song that's six minutes long. If it doesn't feel right, we won't do it. You know, if, 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 if the song is two minutes long or if the song is three minutes long or if the song is five minutes long, if it feels right, 
that's it you know like it's going to be that so yeah it's all about feeling with us it's got to feel right so the question is are you a prog band <laughs> i'm going to say no i don't think we are i think we're just uh, i mean we, we we get asked a lot you know where, what kind of band are you you know and i, I always say uh, when we're not metal we're not we're not pop we're not rock we're not prog uh, we're just a heavy band or we're a band that that can be funky can be heavy uh, i guess can be poppy as you know as well um but i wouldn't say that we kind of fit into any specific genre you know and it, it's kind of hard to tell people so when everyone anyone asks me i'm like yeah we're just a heavy band <laughs> we're just a head we're a band we play music i don't know what do you think what? i think that you're prog okay but um with a, with a little taste of pop Yeah. and uh, you make music that is very intelligent that's cool man thank you thank you i'll take that as a compliment <laughs> it is <laughs> thank you man and um that's it um and the songs on on stage are the same maybe uh, you you in, in, in on stage you, you can give lots of place to to solos and improvisation in the in the songs or it's just like the album Um, it's an interesting question. Um, a lot of them are just like the album. Uh, sometimes we add little, uh, you know, like little surprises in there. Uh, there's a particular uh, part in the song Petrichor from the new album that we're actually, we've just started putting that into the set. We've added this bit at the end, which is like heavy as fuck. Like it's so good, man. And uh, it's just great. And it's not on the album. It's just something that you are only going to hear and see live. But it's just so big. It's when the, the song finishes, people think it's going to finish, but it doesn't. Dave and Rory, the guitar players, who are absolutely incredible, are kind of uh, harmonizing with each other. And there's this big build up. And then all of a sudden, bam, like it goes into this ridiculous, heavy, funky kind of ending, which I, I cannot wait. That's probably the one thing I'm looking forward to playing the most tonight. When I listen to, I didn't know you before, you know. I when I listen to your song, you know, uh, the name that that came to to my to my mind, it's um, "Pain of Salvation." Pain, pain of sal and salvation. Yeah. Pain of salvation. It's a band like like, like a crazy but a prog band. It's crazy and can make things very specifically. And we we feel that there's, you know, a, a knowledge of music. What's your background? Okay, I, I haven't even heard of him, man. I'd have to check them out. I'd have to check them out. Maybe we can do a tour or something with them. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's cool. That's really cool. But what's your background? The background of the members before before the band, before uh, In Search of Sun, you know? Um, so we're all from originally from a, a, a little town called Harrow, which is in London. Um, and I guess growing up, like in in school, we we all used to be in like in little bands together and, and other bands. And the way that the band got together was that I. Uh, my old band from school uh, played a show in our local town with Dave's band. So that's kind of how me and Dave knew each other. Dave, Dave's the guitar player. Uh, that's how me and Dave knew each other. And then we finished school and I didn't go to college. I went, oh, well, I went to college for three days and then I just dropped out. I was like, fuck this, I want to be in a band. So <laughs> I was just constantly joining bands and leaving bands because it didn't feel right and trying to trying to form my own band, you know. Uh, but I couldn't find the right the right people. And I was in the pub one day uh, on a Tuesday because that was the cheapest night. It was pound uh, one pound per pint that night. It was great. Everyone used to get smashed. Um, and Dave was in the pub, and uh, I was like, "Hey, man!" And he's like, "Hey, dude, how, how's the band going?" And I'm like, well, I haven't got a band yet. I'm still trying to find members. And he says, well, I, you know, I play guitar. I'm like, oh yeah, you do. So he, he played me some stuff on his phone that he'd been recording. I said, dude, this is incredible. Let's meet up and jam. So we went for a jam and we started writing stuff together. And then eventually Dave brings in Faz, the bass player. Uh, and we had a jam together. We were like, this sounds great. Faz, you're in the band. And then Sean, the drummer, and then Rory eventually came in and we played our first ever show on April 15th, 2011. Maybe the reason I, I remember that is because it's the same day the Titanic sank, I think, April 15th, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, yeah, April 15th, 2011. And the rest is history, I guess. And here we are now being uh, blessed enough to, to play Download France. You know, it's uh, amazing because 
when I heard your music, I was certain that you played music, you know, um, different styles and uh, make covers and things like that before making the band. Mm -hmm. Because there's maturity, there's, uh, there's jazz, there's uh, lots of composition. Thank you, man. That's, that's really nice to hear. Um, no, I mean, like, we didn't really do much b before in terms of, you know, covers or anything. We've done a couple of covers recently, um, but no, it was just, uh, like I said before, I think it was just experience and, and I guess collectively what the five of us uh, are influenced by and, and listen to and we just bring it all to the table. You know, we, we've never we've never been in a writing session and said, let's write a song like this band or that band. It's always just, what have you been listening to today? Okay, I've been listening to Michael Jackson today, so I'm feeling really funky, I'm feeling poppy. So we'll write something like that, you know, based on how we're feeling. And because everyone's got such a broad spectrum of influences in the band, we just end up coming up with these really interesting, really interesting uh, things musically, which is, which is really, so it's always interesting writing music, always with, with In Search of Sun. So you as a singer, mm. it's a very difficult thing because when you listen, when you, you, know, you listen to the music that they, they make mm. and all the breaks and all the... Um, it's very... Uh, how I say it? Work. work uh, it's a music that has been very big work, you know? Uh, big, and um, it's not usual music, you know? You have to be... <laughs> you have to sing melodies that, uh, that, that's not normal, not, uh, not usual. Absolutely, uh, and it, it was you know it's it's definitely I feel like because the music is 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 on such it, it sets the bar high yeah. you know and I think the vocals are everything to it and if the vocals aren't good enough then the music's gonna suck so we spend we spend a lot of time when we're writing music especially with Virgin Funk Mother the new album we spent a lot of time just going over and over and over just doing different vocal lines different vocal ideas and melodies and harmonies and stuff uh, even to the point of you know should I sing this should I scream this or should I slightly scream this or you know how much should I push how much should I not push you know like it was really precise and it was stressful you know it was it was hard because we all wanted to we always want to bring the best out of ourselves you know and, and push ourselves to the limit but we also want to keep in mind the main goal which is making the best record that that you can uh so it is really difficult i feel that, that writing writing the vocals to this because it's it's a demanding job and then you know there's the whole performing it live as well which um you know that's another ball game man <laughs> that's another ball game <laughs> you know uh, other uh, now uh, we, are, we are speaking there's another band that's get in my mind uh, an old man you know toto for, Toto, for me, there's something, you're Toto's child, something like this. Well, it, it, it's interesting, again, because uh, Rory, in particular, the, the guitarist in the band, he um, he's really into his older kind of rock um, and metal, I guess, you know, from like the 70s onwards. Like, he loves his Led Zeppelin, um, yeah, Toto, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming he loves them. I'm actually really into it, but do you remember the band Focus? Yeah. I, I, I fell in love with them, man. You know, so... Um, yeah, and again, that's all the you know the influent the influential thing. We're all we all listen to so much, so many different things. It's not just metal, you know. It's 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 seventies and and sixties and whatever. Like I love the Moody Blues as well, but I also love Jesse J. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So everything's just this mishmash of stuff, and I feel that it kind of helps uh, writing music because you're not pigeonholed in this one thing where it's like okay this has to be metal you know it's just it's whatever you're feeling and um, all our influence influences combined probably cover every single style of music that ever existed and that exists today so the question is haven't you put the uh, the how I say the, the the bar too too high you know the, the <laughs> Maybe I don't know. What you mean in in terms of you know is the next album going to be better? Yes. Oh man, um, we're we're very optimistic individuals. Um, uh, you know, I guess I can speak for myself uh, here because I'm the only one here right now, and and I'm confident, and I know that the next record is going to completely. It's going to be incredible. You know, we've already started writing stuff for it. Um, 
it's taken a while, you know, to, to move things forward just because we've been busy with tours and uh, making music videos and, and whatnot. Um, but it's being done and it's being written and it's incredible and it's already what we've got so far. The, the demos that we have is already a step up from Virgin Funk Mother. Oh, well, you know, not a step up. I'm not saying it's better or worse. It, it's uh, it's different. It's really different, but it's 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 evolving. You know, I think I think it's important for bands, you know, just to constantly evolve and just let whatever you're feeling and whatever you're writing, just let it happen. Let those changes happen. It needs to be organic. And I feel like that's happening with us. And it happened from the first album, The World Is Yours. We started evolving. We wrote the current album, Virgin Funk Mother. And now we're writing the third album, which doesn't have a name yet, obviously. Um, we'll just call it Download Festival France for now. <laughs> um, you know, it's evolving, man. And it's, it's definitely some really interesting, powerful stuff on there that's going to be good. Have you got a model? Is, is Dream Theater a model for you? Well, like an influence or, or like a, a role model, you mean? Dream Theater, for me, no, not particularly. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of Dream Theater. Um, I don't know if anyone in the band is, actually. I, I appreciate them because they are great and they're massively proggy, aren't they? You know, so, yeah, but I wouldn't say that they're a main influence on us. I think one, one of my main influences, uh, one of my favorite bands next, next to Pantera is Incubus. I love Incubus. And I think I can speak for the rest of the band as well. Like, I think we all, we all love Incubus. Um, yeah, yeah. But you have a music that's so different of Incubus. Maybe from Incubus you got the 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 songwriting, but not the not the music, not the um, not the, the the high level of uh, of composition. Mm. Yeah, I guess, man. You know, a lot of people have said that it reminds this new album reminds them of science. You know the the first well technically the second incubus album if you want to count fungus among us but um yeah it reminds them of that you know it's got that kind of experimental jazzy funky and and proggy kind of feel to it you know um and i guess you know that influence does come off in our playing and our writing and stuff but in terms of dream theater it's interesting you said that because none of us really none of us really listen to them to be honest but they're great don't get me wrong they're great they're great when we uh, hear the name of the band In Search of the Sun, we feel that it's a doom metal band or thing like that. <laughs> really? Why? It's, there's, uh, it's because of the fog in London? <laughs> the fog in London. Yeah, man, we, we never get sun. We never get sun. We, we hate London. I want to be in France, man, because like, look, it's sunny, it's beautiful, the people are lovely. Um, yeah, I mean, it's more of a, a metaphor for you know I, I think it's it just anyone can relate to it and it's what we are about in search of sun is what we're about you know the sun gives life to everyone on the world you know we we could not exist without the sun it is why we're here you know so in search of sun to, to me is perseverance and always trying to better yourself and persevere to, to reach the top you know and it's the journey that's important More, more so than actually getting to the top, you know, and that's what it is, man. It just means determination and hunger, you know. So if you need some sun, uh, come to Tunisia because I'm from Tunisia. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Well, yeah, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll arrange some shows in Tunisia then. <laughs> What's the weather like there? Is it nice? A lot of sun. A lot of sun. I'm, I'm gonna move there then. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna, we, uh, Tunisia is going to beat uh, England uh, tomorrow. Oh really? Oh man, I don't really follow. Is that th the football? Yeah, I don't really. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd see. I don't really follow football. I love to play it, but I don't follow it. But um, I hope Tunisia win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Zana, l'émission métal.